I want to welcome you to Matters of the Heart. My name is Steve Evans, I'm an Episcopal priest in Savannah, and I'd love to be able to talk with you today about why your heart matters where your health is concerned. And with me in the studio is Angela McCurdy, a longtime Savannah native who, like me, has been going on a journey of discovery of what modern medical science is saying about how stress affects the body, and also what the Bible is saying about how to get stress out of us so that our bodies can actually get better in a way that science um, would indicate it would happen. And that's exactly what we've been seeing. As we've seen people deliver themselves through the graces of the Lord, through scripture and through prayer, and, and we have seen them come into incredible healings. And we'll share some of that with you as we go along. Today, we're starting a four-part series on, on forgiveness. And so we're going to be talking about things like what is forgiveness and how to forgive and, and what forgiveness isn't, so that in the course of these four half-hour shows, and we hope you'll tune in to watch all of them, you'll learn a lot about forgivenesses and God willing, gain the motivation to be able to release it. Because I'm not being a gambling man, I would still say, <laughs> five will get you ten. A lot of people out there in the listening audience can think of right away people that it would help their heart if they could forgive them. There's not one single person I know today or have ever met that does not have some kind of unforgiveness issue. We'll have it yes. either up front on the front burner, burning hot, or sometimes it'll just, we'll have a number of things on the slow cook on the back, you know, and, and then circumstances move them up to the front and we realize we haven't let go of them yet. I never realized how important it was to forgive someone. I'd already had a lot of missteps, and we'll go into that later in the show. But I know just a brief testimony. Uh, many years ago in my marriage, there were things that my husband and I were fighting about time after time after time after time. And one day he came to me and said, okay, we need to stop. Because I couldn't forgive him. And he said, I've done this, 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 and this, and I'm sorry. Please forgive me. Where do we go from here? So I had to make a conscious decision. Was I going to continue being angry and not forgiving him for what occurred? Or was I going to go beyond that? And once I made the decision to forgive, our entire marriage has changed. And 17 years later, we're like we're newlyweds. The benefits are incredible. And as you were speaking, it was making me think that the benefits of forgiveness, mm -hmm. folks, are tangible and they, they begin are. happening they almost immediately. This isn't yes. one of those things that you sow into the Lord and then way on down the road you look back and you think, well, you know, things got better. Usually, right away, a weight gets lifted, a countenance gets lifted, a heart gets set free. You're moving forward in relationships and in your relationship with the Lord in a way that you just hadn't been while that was still on top of you. You know, like a financial account where you invest in dividends come later. I found the dividends were immediate when I made the conscious decision to begin to forgive. Well, yeah. one of the fruits that we want to look at is not just the fruit that comes out of forgiving people, but the fruit that comes out of not forgiving people. And when we get in that direction, we all have war stories to tell, but there is a book we've been recommending to a lot of people, especially through this show, we Deadly Emotions by we Don Colbert. We, both, we both have the book. <laughs> it's our and, study guide. And um, one of the fruits that, that come out of this is a breakdown of our physical health. Now, I'd like to read you from page 35. He says... Without a doubt, and this is a medical doctor speaking, without a doubt, hostility, rage, and anger are at the top of list of toxic emotions that generate an extreme stress reaction. Now, what's the problem with that? With the stress reaction, things like cortisol and norepinephrine and other kinds of um, hormones get released in the body that at levels that are not healthy for the body to experience and the immune system begins to be pulled down by the weight, so to speak, of the stress coming upon it. Hostility is actually a great predictor of a lot of physical health problems we may have. Hostile people release more adrenaline and norepinephrine into their blood than non-hostile people. Cholesterol levels go up. Triglyceride also goes up. There's damage that comes in by high blood pressure, coronary artery disease is implicated in this, and numerous medical and scientific studies have linked anger, rage, hostility, and associated emotions with heart disease directly. That's a wow. Yeah. 
heart disease is, it has been the number one killer in America. I believe I read last mm -hmm. year that yeah. cancer came into first place. But behind heart disease, um, there's been some interesting tests done. In Finland, for instance, uh, high hostility scores were almost two times more likely to die from cardiovascular disease than low scores on a hostility index. Well, what's the show that we hear? Matters of the heart? Matters of the heart. And that tells you that your heart matters. What toxic emotions are coming in is going to affect you physically. Well, you're singing my favorite song, <laughs> which is Proverbs 423. So let me read it for everyone. The, the wise author of mm -hmm. um, Proverbs, King Solomon, wrote this. Keep your heart with all diligence, for out of it spring the issues of life. And what are those issues of life? It's physical health is one. Joy is another, the ability to love and the ability to go through our day with a greater ease and freedom. All of these are issues of love. Your spiritual heart, and that's de directly connected to that unforgiveness issue. That spirit cannot be healthy if we're holding on to the unforgiveness and bitterness. There's no way. While we're on a sidebar here, have you noticed how when you're not forgiving a person, mm -hmm. you begin to feel cut off from your relationship with the Lord? It's like an invisible shield comes down over us. I, have you ever noticed that? Well, you cannot connect with love and peace and joy if you're wallowing in the opposite of that, in anger and unforgiveness. It, there is going to be a separation. There's going to be a separation with someone that, you, that you're living with if there's an unforgiveness and they're happy and they're peaceful and you're cranky and you're angry and you're not forgiving, you're going to have a wall there. Your spirit is going to be walled off from your creator just as well. And inside that wall, we begin to be trapped, stewing in our own juices, mm -hmm. chemically speaking. Hostility, coming from another study, hostility may actually be a better predictor of coronary disease risk than the standard risk factors of cigarette smoking, high blood pressure, and high cholesterol. I'm almost afraid to read that on the air. I, you know, maybe the phones will start ringing, but, but this is being discovered by medical science that, yes, high blood pressure, high cholesterol, and smoking are determinants, but hostility and the way we handle our anger, and these are all unforgiveness mm -hmm. issues. These are tremendous predictors. N people with hos high hostility are nearly five times as likely to die of heart disease as their less hostile classmates in another study that was under undertaken. That's scary. So, yeah, that's so that's scary. pretty scary. And, and it's hard to say where else it goes. They've been doing a lot of study on the way that hostility puts people at risk for coronary artery disease, and it's awfully difficult, evidently, scientifically speaking, to tie down which negative emotion affects the body in which way. What is known is that everything that stresses our body, emotionally speaking, is going to show up in bad health eventually because it begins to wear down the immune system and throw our body chemistry out of balance. Well, this does make sense. Uh, I, as we've talked in many shows past, my that I carried on my back was rage. Oh, yes. It was rage, it was hostility. And I could physically feel that. I could feel my heart pumping, my chest pumping. I could feel getting lightheaded and dizzy. I had a physical reoccurrence of, of, of not being able to think correctly because I was so angry. When you're reading these studies, it falls right in line. If anybody's out there dealing with rage, they know that. They mm -hmm. know that it's physically affecting them. They know that it's, it's get, taking away their ability to see clearly how that is affecting their lives. Well, and you know, you're um, not entirely unusual. Of course, you're a very <laughs> unique person, but you're not an, you're entirely unusual, but it is off the pattern for a woman to be involved mm -hmm. in so much rage. That's typically mm -hmm. a thing that guys get into. We'll carry we'll hot flashes yeah. of anger, and women do too. Well, you but talk with most husbands, women, they might disagree with yes, you. Yes, <laughs> now that's true. Behind closed doors, <laughs> folks, the tiger can come out. But, right. but a lot of times women will go down into depression when they're dealing with that's issues right. that have hurt them rather than into hot anger. And where oftentimes men will release that hot anger yeah. and let their strength pull it, pu push it through with some aggression towards the other people. But many times we teach in healing streams that uh, depression counts as self-anger. It does. And so we can't get away from no. this, can no. we? There's, no. there's a way out. It's called forgiveness. We're going to take a break in, in just a moment and allow you to listen to a very soothing. We've been talking about anger and hostility. We're going to allow you to listen to some very soothing music. And then in the second part of the program, we'll get into looking exactly at what forgiveness is. It'll be the, more like the Bible study. Mm -hmm. 
part of the program, but we wanted to set all of this up by taking you into the science that's demonstrating to all of us that we have to deal with our anger issues, we have to deal with our hostility issues and our hurts and things like that, because our bodies are one of the key indicators of our spiritual life. Our bodies begin to break down if we don't do business in our heart the way we need to. So listen to this message about the mercy of the sun. Some, some things will be said about our ministry as well, and then we'll see you back after the break.